Hello. <clears throat> Hello, it's Renee, the practical shaman here. I thought I would check in. I haven't blown my wind whistle for you. And after all, it is Halloween and the spirits are alive and well. The veil is thin. So I thought we would pull a wind spirit card from the new Oracle deck. It's on its way, uh, ready for pre-orders now, and they'll be shipping really soon. People will definitely have them in time for Christmas as long as you order soon. All right, I'm going to pull a wind spirit card. I just taught my very first oracle class. My friend Lori Lothian is teaching an astrology class, and she had me as a guest speaker. And I've created an astrology spread for the group. But you can go over to the practicalshaman.com and take the winds for a spin yourself. Wow. So... The wind card that I got for today, can you see it? Let's see. It looks a little blurry. Where does it go? Is she, see, she guiles, respect, appreciation for nature's duality. And boy, are we in a dual time of nature where we're polarized and the winds are blowing and it's a, it's a it's a time where we really have to be with the sun and the moon, the rain and the dryness. All of that is going on now for us. And understanding that in each of these cycles, each of these phases, there's really amazing gifts. And what is the gift in the duality? What is the gift in the polarization? Um Maybe it's it's about practicing your ability to stay centered in the middle of a storm. It can be a number of different things. Uh, what else would we learn about dual? That in the dual, we can see the other and we can see what is not us and what is us through the eyes of what is not us. And I think that that's really important, uh, especially on uh, social media where there's, you know, no matter what, no matter what you say, people are going to have a, a comment about it today. I shared a post that I thought was intriguing and people find new and creative ways to be derogatory. What is that derogatory teaching me about myself? Well, I don't want to go into the negative. I don't want to go into that which is not in my highest and best good. So what do I do? I stay close to my center. I stay close to my wind walk. All right. So let's call to that Celtic wind. And I'm going to play the wind whistle and blow it in so that we can find our own strength and our own duality. Hope you can hear this. So calling to see, see Sai Gai Ho. I'm bringing in that wind of duality so that I can see the light and darkness in myself so that I know that of which me that is dark so that I can polish those edges. And I want to connect myself to that duality that exists in nature, the dark and the light, the cold and the warm, the equinoxes that move towards the solstices. Let's be with nature in our differences. <laughs> Unless we work on the respect, the respect of what is not the same as us, the respect of what is different than us, the respect of the dark when the sun is hiding, the respect of the light when the moon is not visible, but that we have respect and that we know that the sun will rise and the sun will set and the moon will rise and the moon will set. And in that nature, we can find our, our way and our peace with ourselves. 
Okay, I'm Renee, the Practical Shaman, and the Windwalker's Wisdom Oracle is, is ready for pre-order and will be shipping in the next few weeks. All right, hope you're all having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.